Hey everyone, Pine Nation here, and we'll with some more Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we did the Silent Realm, and in this episode, we will continue to the next area, which is up this way. So, yeah, that's what we're doing in this episode. We're going to the Temple um, of Fire. Um, but yeah, so as I'm making my way there, I just wanted to say that um, I'm using Sony Vegas Pro 13 now, instead of the Camtasia. And hopefully things work out pretty well, because I haven't used it before, I'm still like playing around with it. And, ooh, what's going on here? Our earrings glow. That's right, in the last episode we got the earrings from doing the Silent Realm, that was the sacred gift. As you will know, that we don't burn alive in here anymore, so we can usually come through here and actually do stuff now. Yay. I have a status update for you, Master. We are now near the Crater of the Peak. I didn't get time to finish that, but okay. Volcano Summit. This looks nothing like a summit. It looks like a cave to me. Extremely high temperatures, you don't say. There's kind of lava everywhere. I calculate the probability of finding the final sacred flame here at 90%. Well, that isn't quite as stupid to say, but I'm still going to say it's stupid anyways. And there we go. So now we have fully discovered the map of Skyward Sword, so yay! Um, let's see here. Whoa! Get off me! Got that there. Ooh, jelly blob. Give me that jelly blob. You got a jelly blob. Why don't you turn that volume down? It's really loud. Woohoo! Okay. Got six of them now. Man, we're not too far off from getting 100%, really. Just got a few more items to get, and is this where we want to go? Oh yeah, be aware of flame enemies are kind of like redundant to say, but if you have a wooden sword shield, which you probably shouldn't at this point, um, it will get burnt. So, yeah, be wary of that. Um, one thing too is that I'm not sure if this is actually true, we'll have to observe it later on. Is if you are on fire, um, the earrings will actually uh, stop you from burning as long as you normally would, so yeah, that's cool. Less damage is always cool. Give me an amber relic that we have like 20 billion of. How did I get 17? Oh, I was about to say, how did I get 17 um, dust relics and then I realized the bone mini game. Oh, I'm glad that's over though. Woo! So glad that was uploaded to YouTube. I do, didn't want to do that ever again. In fact, the first time I played through this game, I actually skipped that side quest because of how much I hate it. Yeah, damn. Look at that health though. Can't have too much health. Mm, what's down here? I'm not even sure if I'm going the right way. For this part, I don't really know too much. I'm guessing... Oh, I know what to do. The reason why I was getting confused is because this doesn't follow the, the same formula as other Zelda games. So as you can see, I am killing off all the enemies I see here. In previous Zelda games, that's pretty much the standard, but in this game you don't really see it too often, so... Yeah. Um, but it seems like it does nothing right now. Let's try over here, though. Anything? Anything? Come on, anything? Come on. Oh. Wait, can I just shoot these things with the bow? So I'm gonna get that goddess cube, I really do. Oh sweet, I can. Legend of Zelda Modern Warfare 4 going on right here, man. Those quick scopes. Wrecking them scrubs. I'm not gonna bother trying to shoot at those bats because I swear I will fail. Um... 
they're not. Okay, um, looks like I was wrong with that theory of mine. And that's alright though, we can continue. Uh, let's see. It looks like a chest can spawn in here. Um, let's try killing these guys here off. And I think I just discovered how I do it actually. So that was pretty much a waste of arrows, you meant? Go out! How are you not dead? Seriously. You meant to go out that passage that we just passed, but I'm gonna go this way. Um... Never mind? I'm an idiot. We do have to go out that passageway first. Uh, I was hoping this would be the way around to um, the goddess cube that we saw just before. Which I'm pretty sure it is, but it's also the dungeon we have to take on. But before we can enter, we need water. It's Jackie Chan's favourite uh, drink. Water! Um, I'm going to have to empty... Stam the potion, definitely. Drink. Whoops. Okay, so what you have to do is you have to grab this water. You got some water. It's just normal water though. Um, health potion. I think I will drink this health potion as well. Just because I think I'll be able to grind on hearts if I really need to. Um, but I'm going to keep that Guardian Potion because having invincibility is just too cool, man. Who doesn't want invincibility? Um, as if we come over here, you will see... Whoa, we can see a lot of stuff. Um, don't jump down there, though. I'm not sure if we actually do want to or not. Um, but we're grabbing all these rupees! It's not like we have heaps of rupees anyways. Yeah, it looks like there's a place here you can grind for hearts, so if you really need hearts badly, um, or bugs, then just come here. Because you can just leave the area and come back and it'll give you those same things over and over. Get off! Oh! Oh, hey, we meet again! How have you been, bud? Hmm, I rambled over here because I heard someone has had spotted some goddess cubes in the area. I have got a hunch. They may be down in that direction, but these flames of flaming wall of fire is blocking my way, man. I can't read today. I wish there was something that we could do to put out these flames. Master! Mega Man! Mega Man! I have information for you. With the en enhanced capabilities of your sword, you are now able to douse with goddess cubes. <laughs> Yay! That's actually a pretty good uh, dousing thing because I'm actually going to use it very soon for when I do the um that goddess cube and chest uh, bonus video. Okay, sorry, I was just looking at uh, my what you call it. Um. Sony Vegas because I was scared that it wasn't working for a second. But what you want to do is tip this water on this frog's tongue. Hey, the flames are out! Now we can get through here! Yeah, he's fat. Um, is there anything in this room? Okay. And again, you need another one, so make sure you have two bottles of it, at least. Otherwise you're going to be going back and forth, back and forth, and that's going to get annoying. I'm not going to even bother digging. Um, so what you want to do is you want to get out your claw shot. Grab onto that. Drop down. Come over here. Come over here. 
bring out your other bottle of water and use. Yay! Puzzle solving. Hey, nice work there, bud. Now we are getting somewhere. Yeah, he's still fat. Um, anything here? There's a, a spot of the Dynapulse over there. I'm not sure if it's Dynapulse or Lizzlepulse. I always get that mixed up. Um, puzzle solving. Do you see this, bud? Talk about intriguing. Uh, sorry. Intriguing. We are definitely off the map here. This does not feel like a goddess cube stuff to me. I bet there is something super important hidden around here. Goddess cubes are actually pretty important. Just saying, it's going to lead us to 100%. But, okay. Mm. Mm. You will have to have a big container. Uh, I just... Uh, guess what, guys? At least this gives me an excuse to stock up on potions again. Uh, Rupees here, because they knew that you're going to stock up on something. What you want to do is examine to the sky. I'll meet you guys back in Skyloft where I'll show you what I'll be getting and what I'm going to be prepared for. So, see you guys in just a second. Okay, so I'm going to be picking up one of these. It's a small quiver. 150 rupees? Yeah. I need to get rid of some rupees anyway, so I think I'm coming to the max of my wallet. So we'll pick this up, just to give us some more arrows to hold. Wait, what? Um, what's this? Potion metal. Oh yeah, get rid of that. And get rid of that small... Oh, yeah, get rid of that small bomb bag. We don't need it. <sighs> Aha! I shouldn't do that voice very well, it's not very good. Ah. Um, heart metal. I'm gonna keep my heart metals in here for now. Um, that curse metal, uh, that, don't equip that, it's stupid. Um, I'm keeping my heart metals in here for now because to get 100% you need to equip the heart metals. Problem being that they take up inventory space. So... Yeah. And my computer's going to sleep, not good! Okay, it looks like it still records even when it's asleep, but I thought I'd turn the option off. Um, so we'll come here, put that in there. So that should give us some more space. Yeah, finish. See you next time, Tay! Okay, um... So, we will grab that. I could do with some more arrows. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba. Carry five extra arrows. <laughs> okay, next thing I'm going to be getting is... I think I'll get... I'll grab two heart potions, I believe. Should I get two? Yeah, I think I'll get two. Just because, why not? Okay. Um, I'm just gonna see if we can infuse them because we still haven't done that on camera yet. Nah, I haven't even got a woodland rhino beetle. Well, guess what I'm going to be getting. So, 
we've got pretty much everything I wanted to get, I am pretty sure. Um, nothing there I want. Um, yeah, that's everything. So, I will see you guys where we need to go next. So, just see you guys in a second. Okay, and we're back, and, uh, as you can see, we're outside this temple again. If what we want to do, man, I'm saying words are weird, uh, is come through this here. Um, one thing I might add to, if you talk to the fortune teller, um, at the thingamabob, he can give you a dousing ability to look for the basin. Um, I already knew this was here, I just wanted to show that off. Uh, the reason why I knew it was here is because as soon as they say it, obviously you should be like, oh, I know where a basin is, the water dragon that we hooked out like ages ago has one, that's how you should know. If you don't remember that, then you suck. <clears throat> Anyways, what we want to do is come to here and we want to examine this, in other words, cool scrap and do our dirty work. Measurements include a large amount of water, that in this basin, this quantity of the water has an 85% chance of putting out the flames in that block our path. I recommend you attempt to borrow the basin from the water dragon. He's like right there, you can ask him yourself, but uh, Fine! I don't want to do that! Arr. Ah, I see. It's you. Tell me, are you... I was about to say something else just then. Oh my gosh, that was so close to being something rude. Mastering the power that dwells within your sword? Oh, you wish to borrow my water basin? Hmm, very well. I have recovered fully and I have no intention of having to soak in it again soon. Be gone with it! It's yours to use as you please. To transport the thing we need to listen to awesome music, I know, call him. Understood master, I will call him at once. Ah, great. This guy's such a jerk. Master Fee, my deepest apologies for keeping you waiting. Didn't even take that long. Let's see here. This cargo looks very heavy, but it's well within my payload. Tolerance. Master Shortpants, what? Watch carefully while I demonstrate what a real hero looks like. Yeah, whatever, you faggot. As usual, I shall wait for you in the skies above. Yeah, get out of here, no one likes you. I like his music though, the music's awesome. The music is awesome. Master, your task here is complete for the moment. We should return to the sky so that we can set a course for the volcano. Okay, see ya, water dragon. I meet you guys at the volcano when we get scrapper all the way there because oh my gosh, that's gonna be annoying. So I'll see you guys in just a second.